the complete opposite when it comes to it. You hear the desk talk about a phase there. They're testing out some new maps. Skid Row, Hardpoint, they have not played. They've played everything else. So, of course, we know the way they like to play. Pretty much everything going into an event. So, didn't see them the, for the first time on Skid Row, Hardpoint. But let's be honest, right, for this Carolina team, we're not expecting much. No, but true, true. Maybe, you know, I know there were a lot of people, people that wanted to see Yadorex on land. His online stats just weren't good enough. This is just a team. I, I, I know it's an early you know, roster change, but we saw last year, it is difficult when you were down in a hole in CDL points trying to make it back. So they're just going for it. Yep. And listen, as much as I'm roasting and having a little laugh about it, like I'm pulling for it. These guys have been casting my whole career. Like I want to see them uh, find some success. It's just going to be difficult against this face team. But can you come out and catch it? We've had some crazy results this year. I mean, you just think about what yesterday, some wild results for Optic and Subliners, two of our top teams, maybe some wildness today, Joe. Yeah, I mean, fellow, let's just talk about it, right? He has sort of revamped himself as a player these last few years. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. You know, he was in the CDL, the CWL, he was this aggressive SMG player, um, you know, the first blood, s &D star, and then he went back to challengers. We saw him before last year, a slower AR, kind of an in-game leader, and maybe that's just what they wanted someone to do, helping the comms be a little bit more consistent from Gatorix, because Win, he has been fantastic stats-wise yes. for this team. You're just trying to find a, I don't know, maybe a little bit more teamwork out of the squad. And honestly, sometimes it is that. Like, you know, we think they need kills and that, but some little teamwork thing, some little pacing thing that can be all the difference. But let's see what they're able to do. So far, so good. Uh, they get a bit of a lead, but obviously FaZe will focus on second, which can be one of the bigger money pills in the game. How much of this time are they going to be able to get? The pressure is here early, though. A chance maybe, a chance is getting shut down, though. Actually, still one player up top. How much disruption can it be? Simp's gonna go on three in a row to shut it down, and now the spawn out here for Ravens. Yeah, I mean, you had a chance there if you were Carolina. You I mean, but a Nate hit, I believe he saw the explosion hit marker. That made two players weak for Carolina. Clay, he was weak, so while he was the last player alive, Simp just pulls out the Renetti, able to find that kill. So over the rotation, I guess you, you disrupt some of that time. Uh, if you are Carolina, as Simp up to six and two, gonna get the rest of the time, and now for Carolina, just a focus on setting up for P3. Couple seconds left, and now we'll focus on the early fights here at our next hard point. You still are already have three players rotated over here, phase. Last player in simp, rotating at a hard point, will work to get there and work on the pinch. Great stuff from TJ. Tucks away in a corner, able to take down two immediately before BZ can answer. Simp through on the other side that BZ turns and burns, puts Clayster in the dumpster nearby. Uh, Into the point go phase, and that's a frustrating one. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of just saw the slide kind of just mess up, maybe a little bit quickly, the timey mess up, and then that, that turns into a kill, a two piece for a BZ. And what that does is it leaves a one on one on the hill, which I believe it was Simp who was able to win the one on one, and then you're, you're on it, right? So you've already done a great yeah. job here if you are Atlanta phase. Just again, disrupt, or disrupting the setup, contesting this, keeping that lead, and getting some hill time. So, let's hold the box heavy for a second. Ops the shot and drops a BZ next up. Can't quite take two, so back into the point go Ravens. But yeah, great job from FaZe. Just breaking in early, disrupting that time. But it will be a lead change now. Back into the Ravens' favor. At least they recover, right? You, you don't turn into a, into a full break. You have the closer alley spawns. You're able to get right back on the hill and contest some yourself. So it doesn't turn into a lot of positive time for Atlanta FaZe. So now set up here at P4 are the Ravens. A little bit more comfortable, but here comes the first push behind Draws' is Nate. Trophy's gonna go down and again. TJ in a bit of a, a spot where if it lines up correctly, he's got two or three. Instead, Draws able to find them. All the rivals are out at phase on the hill. Yeah, and I think you heard uh, sort of chatting through uh, the phase team. They'll often want to play some different maps, try to widen that map pool a bit. Uh, something they've struggled in a bit has been the breaking percentage, you know, good, the holding. We'll see if they can continue that. They've had some really nice breaks here early on, but as the lead goes back to phase, Ravens have played them tough thus far. Let's get to a listen here. Royal Ravens. Split out, Nate. Hey, hey, one shot. Back. One's bottom mid on me. One's bottom mid. mid. I'm, I'm, I'm back left. Back left. I'm 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 and one more garage or dumpster on your half up. Half up. He's back on your left side, Gwen. On your left side. That was him, Gwen. Put the tunnel, put the tunnel, put the tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel. Tunnel weak. Push it, garage. The one's copy two. Copy two. I have garage lay down. Hold my ticket. Hold my ticket. I'm laying down graffiti. One's gonna be ticket. Okay, I'm turning. I got garage. Watch out, garage. He's behind me. Garage out. Garage in low P2. One ticket. Low P2, low P2, last guy. Sell low P2, last guy. Low P2, going upstairs, one shot. Okay, I'm looking at the tunnel. There's one tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel.
One bottom P2, one shot, bottom P2, one shot, cell. One shot, draws. Absolute top left. On AC. I'm looking at Absolute AC. AC. Two, two, no, no, take it on me, take it, take it. One top P2, cell P2, one ticket. Yeah, two, 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 one top P2, top P2, one shot. No, 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 Copy two, so let's get in the in the I'm leaving you old. I'm leaving you old. One shot. I got a fold. I got a fold. So one shot. Copy two. One more. Simply, simply can do. Simply can do. They're gonna spawn tunnel. They're gonna flood it. Help me, help me, help me. Yeah, I've got one more frame. They need it. They're not hitting me old. Oh fuck! I got needed. Grab all mine. I'm watching flat. Flat dead. I'm watching someone up here. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. I'm watching flat. One flat. Go. I'm low ground right now. I know what the weak. In window. I'm, I'm, I'm flanking them, I'm flanking them. In window still, in window. Two on fire! Oh my god. Cell's weak, there's two on fire, guys. Cell oh, one. Fuck, we're running out of ammo. Two on fire. One second. Cell weak and fire, one bullet. Window room, window room. Window room, window room. I have to go to the dump barrel, she's not. I'm reloading. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Inner fire, inner fire, inner fire, weak. I'm holding two, two, window room. Two, two, cell weak and fire. There's that fire. Come on, this window room, drop. One, one shot, absolute window. He's trying to pick myself, he's in the window. He's weak in window, one shot. I'm going new. He's top new already, guys. Abe is already top new. I'm top window on your Listen, there were some comms there, Joe, but I just have to ask it. I, I'm not sure it was spectator lag, but did I watch Gwyn mid mantle like not miss a hip fire bullet on someone on P2 heady? Uh, yeah, top P2. I, I, <laughs> Delium was one shot. We heard that in the comms forever, uh, how, how weak he was. But yes, he did mantle. <laughs> it's like when you hold a stun. I, I don't Dude. know exactly. I'm pretty sure it just breaks the game code. It's done it for years. That looked insane. That looked insane. That but was you know, one of the craziest kills I've seen in COD. You, you take that if you are Gwyn. It's he's 12 and 11. And Carolina with a nice lead, but a chance here for FaZe Mubita to get a solid lead as they are set up here at P2, able to find a couple of kills. But you kind of heard that listening, right? Here, Clay kind of making his call outs, bringing the intensity we know Clay has done for a very, very long time. But Fellow is sort of this calm voice. Hey, pick this up for me. I need this. It's just kind of what he has been these last few years. Very, very different than Chatterbox Fellow. Yeah, no. Yes, he, no, it's a <laughs> complete opposite person. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been awesome to see that transformation, but uh, they're starting to fall behind a bit now as FaZe start to make a rally. And one of the things for FaZe, they've had all these tight hard points as draws is hitting now to five in a row. But they the clutch factor has been there for them. When it's these close games within like 30, 40 points, they've been coming away with the dub. And in this title, it just feels like you're going to need that, right? Like, Or you're not going to win hard points. Yeah. Maybe their break percentage isn't the best, but maybe in clutch time, I don't know, maybe someone can look that set up. It, it, it's yeah. one of the best, or their holds towards the end. But it feels like when they need a play, they are getting is now. Yeah, they're, they're going to have a full 60 at P2. It was Draza and Selium who really locked that down. And kind of the same position. You get the alley control. Can the trades be a little bit better here for the Ravens? Last time through, it was not. This time, so far, so good. And then off spawn, TJ's going to find Sel. Yeah, last time it was still a mess by the time like Simp rotated over from the old hard point. This time, yes, yeah, much, much cleaner. Now, can you continue to hold on as you've got to make a rally right now if you are a Royal Ravens, but the kills are starting to fly. No. That's three through. The answer is quickly no. That's a squad wipe. That's seven in a row for big draws. When draws was asked what he was worried about with the Carolina Royal, Royal Ravens, he said, honestly, nothing. Yeah, no, that's that's what the Atlanta face Twitter said. And, and knowing draws, yeah, makes sense to me. As now it's a little bit desperation time. As Sim, I mean, it's not three kills for him, but it's pretty much three kills. They're just going to flood on through. And with that, look at the mini map. They kind of know Carolina, they're going to have to make a play either through bottom, middle, or through tunnel side. And Cell is going to see everybody put shots into everyone. Abizi's got to cut off another side of the map. Just nine more seconds needed for face. Yeah, when it's come down to these this final couple of minutes, I mean, it's just been all phase. They get the break at third, they get the perfect hold at second. They now lock it down here at fourth, and the final tick goes through. Great stuff there from phase. They did uh, get tested a bit early on, but uh, yeah, I just, I don't know how much more I can like, say that in this title, because it just feels like yeah. there haven't been many blowouts, like in Harper, there have been some, I know. But. Saw our first 100 point club yesterday, yeah. I, th I believe. Or? But that's crazy though, right? Like at this point, like our first, like that's kind of nuts. Yeah, no, it's just sort of the uh, the, the nature of the game right now. Yeah. But this is a, a solid one. You have to think about it. Going to that P2, we saw Draza was on five in a row. He stayed alive that entire rest of the game. Gets up to nine and oh, it was 160 to 120 or so, and then yeah. they just run away with that game. But I think the key for me is those two P3s. You have a chance if you were Carolina to Absolutely. respond, and they just need to. Even if that splits a little bit, we're still playing this game. Maybe it's tied. Instead, they get broken twice. Yeah, and that, that's a hard one. We see a lot of breaks. I mean, it's just kind of you know tough. You have you have the natural pinch kind of on that hard point. It's almost like a first hard point <laughs> in many ways, like a central point, and it can it can be difficult, but. You just think with all the setups you can get, you know, all the emphasis you have on second, 
you'd like to get 40 seconds out of it, something like that. They weren't able to do it. Yeah, not able to do it. This is the, the first one through, and then that clay play. Yeah, BZ. Obviously, he's teamed with Clay for a long time. World champions together. I'm sure showing him some extra love. This was uh, another key break for Atlanta FaZe. And, and yeah, I mean, uh, I think for Carolina, kept it close. And then we saw on the scoreboard, TJ, he actually had 4,400 damage or something. So uh, a solid game from him. There was that ridiculous kill you were talking about uh, out of Glenn. Yeah, I, I think you and I, we were, uh, you know, listening, and you and I just looked at each other with our eyes wide open, like, what was that? So what, it was 150 minus, like, 150, 140, and then after that, it, I mean, we're gonna see the rest of these highlights. I, I don't, they don't give any more points. No, no, they really don't. Um, I think this next push, what I'm saying, like, uh, can they hold it? And you just go, no, <laughs> right here. After this break, no, I don't know if they look at it again. So, yeah, they're outscored, what, about 110 to 20? Of that final stretch? Yeah, I don't even need to tell you that because we got a game flow graphic now and it shows it's tied up. And then after that, they stay around 151, goes up to 170. That's where it ends. And Atlanta phase run away with the game. Yeah, I do love, but I don't have to make up numbers as often. I think it helps everybody. Yeah, no, it really absolutely does. But <laughs> well, map one is in the books. Map two, high rise search and destroy. We get ready to go. And uh, as much as, yeah, this is, a, this is a tough series to come into, just excited to see Fellow back in the mix of things. He's always been one of my, I don't know, favorite players. Like, he, he's, just, uh, he's, just a, he's just a great dude. Uh, he's been competing forever. You know, him and Clay have had long-time chemistry and a big reason he's coming right into this roster. But on the other side of us, talk about the Tiny Tears and their search and destroy stats. Joe. Look at it. We could probably do this every single year uh, between these two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, the guy on the left, he's usually uh, the first blood lord. Yep. Uh, but 1.23 on the other side, Simp in just such good form in this game. Running the MCW, running the rival nine, whatever he honestly wants. But that opening dual percentage for both of them right around 60%. And that's going to win you rounds. Yeah, they've just been quietly kind of doing their thing. Um, they have three map losses on the year, yeah. Yeah, yeah but like, it just feels like since they've... You and I have talked about this in the past. We don't really sit on camera very often, but we've looked at each other after casting phase, and like that was boring because like they just get into this form where they they, they haven't had a lot of uh, they haven't had game fives or crazy series or all these dramatic things, and they're just sort of under the radar. Like yeah, we just have we've lost three maps. Yeah, it seems like they're getting in that form where it's just. They're just winning, and they're kind of making it look easy. Yeah, I mean, they've taken care of business. They haven't played uh, New York, uh, Toronto, or an Optic, and we're going to see that matchup tomorrow. And yeah, no, that's, a, that's a very good point. The green too. wall has, I mean, destroyed them these last couple of years. Yeah, that's 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 the big thing. You know, we were we we're talking about how this draws a helpless team, or when will we know if he has. I mean, hard point's been something we've talked about, um, obviously. It draws his help the squad. Um, but then the other one's like, yeah, even when they've looked so good, like Optic's always in the head-to-head, -head giving them trouble, always. Regardless of like the roster changes for either team, like they've just been a thorn on their side for ages. And I think for FaZe, just uh, obviously a series, just not trying, trying to get trapped, or I still trying to keep this momentum going into a, to a major, have to understand how important this practice is. They just getting repetitions on as many maps as possible. And for Carolina, new roster, you're just like, yeah, tough match versus phase, but let's give it our, our best. Yeah, no, and maybe sometimes, I mean, I know you fell away at the, the end a little bit there, but like you already have like the chip on your shoulder, like a oh, new squad, but especially against phase, just like, yeah, Whatever, go out there and play. And sometimes you get some crazy results when that's the case. <laughs> like, yeah, no you, pressure. You just no pressure whatsoever. Just kind of go out there and shoot your gun. I love. I really do love the jerseys, by the way. Just like the. I have always been like a baby blue fan, like that. That, that or whatever you call that blue. Perry that's sky blue. Like sky blue. Oh, sky blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really good. No, it does. I'm yeah. thinking Clay. This looks real handsome. Man. No, there's they're they're, they're CDL operators. They're camos. They're they're looking nice. Even the phase one. Much better than, than than previous years for them. I'm a fan. I am too. You can buy them in the game. Use code. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we don't have those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We are ready to go here into map two. Probably starting with a BZ because uh, yeah, he is a first blood machine. Now this this map a little bit more difficult at times maybe for him to make the early round impact like we see him do on like a Karachi like he can do it but I've also seen him get real flustered here <laughs> I mean I think any SMG player if you're yeah, running a yeah. rival because <laughs> yeah. some of these timings down here can just go absolutely awful yeah. uh climbing a ladder mantling up barrels exploding in your face it feels like it could all go your your way or it cannot feels like 
anything can explode in your face on this map, Joe. Got to watch out for that. Got to watch out for that. There we go. That's exactly what we were talking about. You're hitting around it, but he is still alive in Draza with the first blood on the TJ. Oh, God. We are children. With the 4v3 now. Ooh, little peek. Chance to double child, but the hold for now. Looking for Clay's size 13s, but he'll be laying prone on the other side of it. Felony. Just lurking near B bomb with the MCW in hand, but phase now with 30 seconds on the clock. You got to make a move. Yeah, and Fellow can really be the playmaker here. There's no one there for a trade with the bomb planter, but does he need a trade? He will. It's, he's going to find it, but Sip made him so weak. Everybody collapse on the bomb site. They go for the bomb peak. Abizi is there, and again, just baiting the bomb. Is he on it? Is he not? Clay now with a chance at a one on three. Makes it a one on two. Cell is. I was going to say, didn't go for the very quick trade, but just enough time. Yeah, the whole time I was sort of wondering, like, is he gonna, is, it, is he, he up is there? He coming? Is he there? I was like, I'm pretty sure he's above him. Self fall asleep above him? <laughs> well, he's, oh, he's like looking for him. Oh, he thought he was on the stairs. He's got a weird timing. Got a very weird timing there, but yeah, BZ. New cell was in the in the area. Is they're gonna win the first round? Can you hear me fine? Yeah. Okay. My audio is going out. I'm okay. No. Good now. <laughs> I think I stepped on my cable. I'm a big boy. <laughs> Just walking around everywhere. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I'm always moving. Always getting moving. antsy. That's 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 why I'm that's why I'm so thin and fit, Joe. Again, athlete. Yep. Around with the face. Two for big draws. Do I think of him saying something cocky and just look at his face? I'm like, <laughs> he's, everyone slap him a little bit. No. Oh. Seems like a great guy is quitting. <laughs> this fellow is gonna find the first two kills. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Oh, but yes, great stuff here from Ravens. His Gwen looks to get this bomb planted. The BZ's like, no, sir. Now it's all down to a BZ, and he is ripped off the map. Nice round there from Carolina. And again, just very similar to the, the round we saw before. A man advantage for the attacking team. Start to work the bomb site. There's one player in the bomb, but quickly traded out as a BZ yeah, tries to get away from it. Play with some nice shots. Gets two kills in the round. All tied up. All right, let's see if Clay can keep it going into the next round. Three and one. Bye-bye, window. Just in case you shoulder it. At that angle, we saw this fight. Just the last round, draws it in Clay. Three players from Raven just on this B street. A BZ not with the bomb this time. Just gonna climb on up. Try to find anything. And he's going to find all three players. Somehow he's still alive and gets a kill. I have no idea. Elevator, hello? Protection, please. Down. <laughs> but they're still up. Semp, working the plan. Four versus two. The BZ dance with death throughout the early going in this round, but he's still up. Now a little bit of a chest bump. Some damage in will lead to the kills. And after a quick round win for Carolina, answered by a quick one there from FaZe. And however the hell... A BC stayed up early. I mean, I, I was thinking like a quick trader or something from the Raven side, but I think the players uh, of FaZe were just watching over him. So they just could not peak the angle. So he's able to stay alive, just slides into the corner, just buys as much time as possible for his teammates to get there. Did you tangle yourself up over there? Yeah, I was untangling myself. I was just... You're just a mess. Let's be a little bit of a ballerina. You know, I, I can't control... I, I just see... I'm, I, I was sick, Joe, and now my body's temperature all over the place. My ears are, like, sweating. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I got menopause. Okay. Okay. Just, just take care of me. It's been all offensive first bloods throughout this map. A little bit of a different round here. It looks like, what, a BZ trying to get aggressive. Doesn't find the kill, maybe loses some aim assist, but able to take down TJ. Now up to four and two, another fight to take. And yeah, BZ looking to get aggressive, you don't say. He's always trying. Some maps can be a little bit trickier than others, but so far so good for him here at four and two. Easy pick now for Cell, one by one. The Ravens have been falling.
getting closer with 3 1 edge now if you are phase. We'll see if Felony and Gwyn can now try to work. Only real positive is they have the bomb in their hands, but Abizi is looking for another kill. It's Draza that's going to get it through on the cross. And Felony is just going to maybe make, try to make an individual play with not a lot of time. Unfortunately, one more player there. He was trying to lurk. Unfortunately, one more lurking behind him. And I, and I mean, phase there, it's a little bit of a switch up, right? It's been so much heavy B Street, just trophies down, fighting. And this time, what they do is Abizi and Selium, as soon as they, there's not a lot of pressure over towards B, they get aggressive A side, just try to take something away from the Raven side in a much slower round. And yeah, it's just Abizi and Selium, that two man game over towards the helipad, give them the advantage. Simp, he's just relaxing. One and two currently. TJ still looking for his first kill in the round. Gwen, Gwen, who's been so good as a young player, struggling as well, but plenty of search and destroy to go here. But you need a round if you are Ravens. BZ, once again, looking to get involved early. And this time through, they're not going to see a lot towards the B street. So what info does that give up BZ? Maybe an opening to make a play as Fellow, again, inside the bomb site, has TJ with him. I'm not sure how, how many S&D strats this Ravens team has gone over. True. I'm sure it's not much, but some great S&D players on this squad. Yeah, the intuition's there. Certainly spent some time playing together in the past, but on this title, could have done that much. Simple find his second in the round, and we'll get caught the second. I think he was thinking about the plant, and there you go. You're Gonna hop on it. If you are Carolina, you find a fantastic time. You're busy just trying to get away with his life. Cell will be on the other side of the map. A busy snap back though, and Gwyn will get dropped. Now two versus two, 25 seconds to go. Selium, he's looking to get involved. Looks like he's getting red though. It is, it doesn't really matter though that it's being red. Clay will get dropped, Cell with the kill. Looking for the trade, is Felony able to do it? And then a lovely little drop shot and snap, but just too much sauce there for FaZe. Is they'll go up 4-1. Yeah, and I mean, you have the three on two, and obviously there's a lot of different situations. As a BZ, he's just got the, the advantage. That's the rival nine, the yeah. shotgun, as yeah. we see the pros kind of call it. You're just going to melt fellow in that situation. If he had MCW, you might win that if you're fellow. But I, I mean, I, I think Gwyn, right? You know Bomb is down B. He goes for that 1v1 challenge onto a BZ instead of just playing with the team. They played trades so well throughout that round. That's how they had that, that advantage. And as soon as Gwyn goes for the solo challenge, puts them into a 2v2, it's a tough spot. Also, sell with a disgusting win. That, that yeah, helps. yeah, well, I mean, bo both. Like, yeah, BZ's kill and... And cells are just like ones that you think might be, you know, bordering on freebies for Carolina. I know, I know those gunfights when you're upstairs with the railings and stuff. Like, I'm sure that fight from Clay's POV was frustrating, but just kills you get to change the round. Nice one there from Gwen. Trying to get back into it for the frustrating death to Abizi, but he will not get out of harm's way. Selium with a pretty quick and efficient trade. Now to another two versus two. Clay, though, revenge on to Selium. Now on to Draws. Draws gets a tag or two, but that's it. Carolina answer back. It's just sort of the, the sort of same answer, right? The man advantage on, on the attacking team. Gwyn's able to put them in a three on two and just buys time. Obviously, he doesn't get out with his life, but gives his teammates some info. And as you said, Clay with a nice one on one versus Sell. I think all the headshots just kind of connect. Sell's prone. Obviously, you know can kind of switch things up. But if you're prone like that and they aim on your, your face, you die pretty quick. Yeah, no, he got zapped. Absolutely zapped. I know Clay had a frustrating gunfight, but he's up to seven and four now. Uh, leading all uh, players outside of Abizi. Him and Abizi both at seven and four. TJ still looking for that first. Back in we go. This is Atlanta fighting for this fifth round, but it's a first blood there for Gwen. Once again, he's able to pick one up early. This time, though, he's able to stay alive, Joe. And again, different look here from Carolina. Getting aggressive up the B Street this time through. Where are those trades? Make sure they stay intact, and they do. So now you're in a one-on-two for Simp. He has been an absolute freak so far this year. Does he have a clutch in him? Got both weapons. Did Fellow spot him there? That's the question. I think he did eight. 
Gwyn turns around right away, and yeah, I saw the minimap. I saw Gwyn get into that spot. I was like, did he spot him? Did he spot him? Soon as you see that arrow turn, the come was given. Oh, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice teamwork out of Carolina. Just throughout that round, getting aggressive up B Street, but just making sure they have those trades, keeping the numbers. Yeah, he gets one, maybe puts in a 1v1, a good shot, but good spot there from Fellow. Nice round win from Carolina. And bring it back within a round. So playing him tough here, considering uh, very few search and destroy reps. Well, it's like 75% of map number one. That's what, you know, they were played, yeah, played yeah. face tough. And the last 25%, they, they really let it go. So we'll see if they can keep that up here. So they tie us up now 4-4. Everyone catches a stun. Yeah, that <laughs> stun just gets out. down right before the trophy. And then I think a nade blows up like middle of the air, so the trophy doesn't catch it, so Cell's able to find a first butt on, onto Clay. It was probably weak from the stun in the nade. Yeah, I imagine. It just looked like hell as they first pounced out. Simp tags on another. Fellow still got bomb in hand. Let's see what him and Gwyn opt to try and do. Rechallenging is selling him. Trade is on point there from Draza. Draza takes down the next as well. Phase fifth round up, one away from a 2 0 edge. Yeah, and you and I were talking about it, right? Coming into this map where we're starting with a BZ and we're like, we know this sub, depending on how the map in, in rounds go, it could be not a fun time. And I think you're kind of seeing it instead from TJ, who's pretty much doing the same thing. Now, what, 1 and 7, 1 and 8, right around there. And, you know, he's just trying to go for a trade, but you have Simp down low, you have an MCW looking over it. Just difficult when you're in those positions. No, it's, uh, I mean, you saw what Simp has, like, a, I mean, it was pulled on MCW, but, like, this, this, I think this map in general, like, regardless of what you run, you just can't get the blender. I, I don't know. It just happened to, I feel like, so many players, even players who seem to be stellar and search to destroy this one, just, just the timings of it, I guess. It's all the finesse, too. Yeah, yeah. With how you can mantle just 90% of this map, but draws it with the first one. <laughs> yeah, right? Sometimes intentionally, sometimes not. <laughs> yeah. But Clay is there, as you, you said, he's up to eight and six. Now a three on two. Oh, a BZ with the rival, the headshot connects. That might just be it. Yeah, a little bit of a snap, and Clay's probably just yelling, the rival's stupid. <laughs> it, it just snaps, and his head comes popping off phase. They'll go up 2-0 in this one. Uh, still only drop three maps for Ravens. I mean, yeah, you, you play them tough again. Throw out a bit of that search and destroy. Uh, you just don't get a whole lot out of TJ. It's, I mean, search is going, everything's going to be hard in, in this level of competition when you, you haven't played together long, but search, man, it's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, 6-3, I mean, they, they played them tough. I, I think there's like that one round where they had the three on two men advantage, maybe threw that one away, but you can see the stats right there. Just uh, a team effort. On the side of phase, Selium with the most damage. Clay, as you said, he's got 2,008 and seven. Obviously, MCW is just putting the damage in. Players are running away. It happens quite often. Yeah, I don't think a ton you can take away from this right now. Just if you are Carolina coming out, battle them tough, but in a difficult position when it comes to the roster phase, you're still just cruising. You're probably thinking more ahead, honestly, for the match tomorrow. Uh, the big one you, you've got marked on the calendar. Yeah. I'm sure, I mean, you know, again, got to take care of business here, but they know it's a, it's a huge test. I, I'm just going on based off what Draza said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't seem to be uh, all that worried, but uh, this will be a 2-0 advantage for FaZe. Uh, we ready to head to break, and we'll see if Carolina can bring it back. But, yeah, I mean, you nailed it. Uh, three maps, one on one side, uh, three maps lost on the other. You could not have more disparity between the two teams currently. Clay will try to get the boys fired up. TJ will try to get locked in after a tough map, too. But it's a tough road forward. We had to break. We'll get back. Control's up next.
Don't miss out on all the action at the first Call of Duty League Major, hosted by the Boston Breach, this January 25th to the 28th at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway in Boston. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to CallofDutyLeague.com for more info. The Painted Alabrije Bundle is available now in the Call of Duty store. Inspired by the folk art of Oaxaca, this stunning bundle offers colorful, vibrant, and mythical items you gotta check out. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. Well, hello there. How are we doing today, sexy viewers? We've got uh, potentially one more map, maybe three. We'll see if uh, Carolina can bring it back, but uh, FaZe have looked uh, strong. Carolina are in the, the midst of, I don't, I don't want to call it turmoil, just they're figuring stuff it's out. It's a rebuild. Yeah. 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 It's an early rebuild, right? We're not even a, it's a major one. Well, I did say, I've asked you multiple times on broadcast, like when is your sort of change time? But you said, you know, maybe after the first major, but it's a little bit different here with everything that's going on with the team, like, you know, visa issues and stuff. Like you kind of had to start doing stuff. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, We'll see what happens with Real. Yeah, yeah. the starting lineup, but you know, with Donna Rice and the stats, it just has to be great. We look at the control metrics here: one in four uh, for the Carolina side, or on the other side, four in one. And really, their defense, nine and two for Phase, has been so strong. It's Ryota Karachi control, and I was just thinking too: some of these maps today, Skid Row hard points, Karachi control, could be what you see in the in the matchup tomorrow versus Optic. You know, depending on how those vetoes go. Yeah, I'm excited for that. It's going to be a fun. I think, you know, uh, I've been doing this 10 years or so, and I've, I've casted a lot of phase optics over the years. There's always something a little, a little different, a little, little more to them. Well, I mean, just really throughout this year, what we've had Optic New York matchup, that was game five. And then yesterday you had the New York Toronto. Like, there hasn't been a lot of the top four squaring up versus each other. So even just those matchups in general right now, I think everyone's excited to see. We're talking about sort of building tier list. Everyone wants to know where their team is at before the major. Yeah. So these are some of the big tests. Oh, I think you said with Optic, like, you know, um, whether it was coming out slow versus Vegas or the loss he has had to Heretics, like, you know, have it before the major, or maybe have it before you play Atlanta. Um, Cause I think Atlanta just, that's one of those matches, like he's a little chip on your shoulder if you win that one too, going in like, all right, all right, boys. We'll see though. It's gonna be a confidence building. I think you and I'll be casting tomorrow. We'll have a lot of fun with that. I'll take all the all the meds so I can be wacky and twisted for that one. Um, you don't need meds for that. Yeah, that's true. It's like the the, the just the, the matches the medication, right? Put it right in my veins. No, that's just you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. But now, phase Ravens into the map three. Karachi, I think definitely become my favorite control. It was fun to watch Heretics on earlier. Yeah, TJ may be going for a, an early pinch here. Sims just on the hill. Abiz just playing patiently. He's going to potentially hear that. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to hear one player jump above him. The flight does work for TJ, and he's able to find the second one. Nice shots from TJ with the rival. So going to deal with the first push over at A. I think the tick does come in, but TJ's going to have to go and make sure there's not a lot of work over towards B off a of spawn for phase. It's Draza locking down this side of the map. Uh, I think just sticking out a little bit too much is he'll end up getting dropped. First bit of progress is done. They continue to try and move this. DJ's forward. doing it again. This time he doesn't win it. Yeah, no, trying to make the play. Instead gets clotheslines. Gwen now dancing. Those that's some nice center and nice shots there with the rival. Onto that heady, but uh, any other player, maybe you might win that with those initial shots. But Selium, he's a tough kill. I, yeah, maybe if you have an MCW, I, but yeah, still just a, a very tough gunfight. Insane centering on a point. Those were, those were, he got like three headshots. Those were great shots. Yeah, uh, A is done now over to B for Atlanta phase. Two life advantage. A lot of time to work with. Is Clay going to be the first man up? He gets dropped, and you already have fellow pushed on in, but that's really it. There's not a lot of presence near the point right now for Carolina, but a nice one from TJ off spawn to win the gunfight. Now you got a bit of a three on three here towards the point. Clayster wins a big one as he comes off spawn through back alley onto Sim. They go to rip him easy out of the corner. It takes two players to do it, but they're able to do that. So the tiny tears are his sons. It's uh, Clay's able to take him out. Yeah, and what we talked about with the, that Miami match right, was the close B spawn, the close B spawn. You just saw where number two of spawned all the way towards bottom market. Uh, it's just going to take a very long time. Already a minute left on the game clock. His phase they haven't gotten too aggressive on the point. Here comes another push. The Ravens locking it down, at least trading the way they should right now. 
Yeah, I mean, the difference is, yeah, look how far you are spawning versus, yeah, what we watched Miami do and how fast you just hit it and hit it and hit it. But you still do have, to have somebody here. And uh, obviously, FaZe has been pretty successful in the mode, so they have their way of doing things, but fun to see the subtle differences between the squads. Three through, though, for Ravens on the feed. BZ going to be the last guy up here trying to dance. 45 seconds left to work with. And you thin them out a bit on lives. So you got 10 left if you're Royal Ravens, but you're really going to need to stop the clock here if you are FaZe, if those lives are going to matter, I think. Yeah, with the BZ staying up near bus, they do get that close spawn. They're going to quickly be in the area, but yeah, just not a lot of objective progress over wow. B is Draza, maybe a bit of a jump stare, but he's ready for the gunfight on the win. I wasn't. Kills, though. Here for phase. On to the point. I was saying, they just need to stop this for a bit, and I think the lives will be all they're going to need, but you lose a tough one. It's one of the bees he wants to get back, I'm sure. And then you get cleared off the point. Now, time's starting to dwindle again. 9v6 on the live department. Here we go, Selian, hip fire sauce, able to connect. Clay trying to chow out. He's able to take that one. TJ, another, and Clay will take the second. Five seconds now to go. Is they're trying to battle back towards it. Can you get there in time? I don't think anyone's gonna be able to get across. And that will do it. Ravens able to hold on. And man, it is different watching them attack versus Heretics. That's all well, you can think about. They hardly had that spawn, and yeah, just yeah. keeping it messy. But this man right here, Clay, 12 and 5 in the round. A big round for him. Almost 1,800 damage. He ends it on a four spree. Just locking down that B point. But it almost felt like it wasn't even really the aggression. It was just kind of the, the push, right? You know, watching the Heretics, they always try to have someone alive near Cafe, just finessing where, like, FaZe were just trying to find a pick or two and then start it, kind of just waiting for that perfect set and go yeah. just never really got it clay's like dude fella i just got i just picked you up man give me more than one well maybe he's in great comps yeah that's, maybe that's why he's 12 and 5. <laughs> no but clay i was impressed because he like i think i saw him like roll his eyes or throw his head back after he i think when they first got a and went to rotate out he had a bad death or got stunned or something i thought he was really frustrated i was going to make a point about it but then he bounced back and was god like he's an him. emotional guy always has yeah, been i mean true true Bit of a roller coaster with him. He's able to pick up another one on five in a row. So now one off that cruise is. Yeah, Dwin just staying alive on the point. Trophy is down. Madraza is there quickly for the trade. And I think he gets number six. He does. So he gets the cruise before he gets taken down. We'll see when that cruise gets thrown into the mix. As Ravens continue trying to battle towards A. Fellow just uh, looking to find some kills. I mean, he's just shooting his gun at this point. Uh, he's one and eight. He's struggling, but uh, now he'll get it going here. Draza, though, able to pick up two. Is Draza has had a great series thus far. He's at 11 and seven, three in a row. Trying to make sure they bring this back. I think just since we've gotten back from holiday break, obviously they were still undefeated, but you know, there was just, he didn't have the best stats. Obviously someone's gonna have to give up a bit on this team, but since break coming back from it, he has been unreal for this squad and pretty much everything. As it looks like Ace finally going to get done. So now, Carolina, 20 lives at minute three to work with. You know how hungry he is, how much he plays. Like, he's just a guy that usually improves as the year goes on. Like, he's just never going to put down the toy. But now you get ready for this attack on the B. Lives just about easy. Even sell with the first slide out. Chow, not going to go his way. That's three kills through four L Ravens. A chance maybe to get a tick of progress or get a threat here. Sim just shooting nukes right out of his rival, though. Picks one off the edge. Second up to bat. Hello. Awkward little chest bump. And can't get anything behind that. Yeah, you heard the door open, the door closed for Sim. He knew the pressure was coming, able to stay alive. Does get traded out, All but right. buys enough time as Clay continues to have a game 17 and seven. Able to find fourth in a row, stays alive. Back to Sim, has a little bit of help. Up, down, not snaking. Just Take me back to 2015, baby. Just doing his thing. Five in a row. Another cruise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's stack him up, Clay. Maybe. Yeah, his face, he's, he's common. He is, he's at war right now. Is everyone pushing? Two takes done though. A chance to get it done here. You're so close. Nobody's getting over there for a phase. Bang, Clay goes big. He's fired up and that's a huge round win there for Ravens. And the difference, right, between those two attacking rounds, just once Clay was able to get into that spot, once Carolina was into that spot, there was always one more up. Finessing, playing their life, playing the angle. Making sure FaZe had to just, you know, maybe piece something, in, you know, into a deep spot or whatever, a, a pocket where you're just buying enough time for your teammates to come off a of spawn, and that's when it gets messy.
Dude, Clay's face, I can't hear what he's saying, but his face tells everything. Yeah. He's locked. Him and I have some expressional eyebrows. Yeah, he's, you do, you do. Little caterpillars. They're pretty big. <laughs> 19 and 7. Five in a row out of Clay. Down and back and frying. I wouldn't count phase out of it yet, though. Eh? Obviously, haven't looked strong so far. Their offense, they never really got too much rolling last time through. They were a threat at times, but mostly just great defense for Royal Ravens. You see just kind of him locked in right now, but while this is going on, it looks like Abizi trying to find a pinch. He's going to shoot. Well, that player, who was that fellow, is just like, uh, be careful of Minali, be careful off spawn. They know where FaZe is trying to push, but FaZe is just going to take all the time. They haven't, nobody's died, so they have everything they want to attack B. And now they get a chance to do just that. We'll see how they build up this first push. They're going to take Clayster out of it. They're going to take TJ out of it. Just continue to try and take numbers. A little like two on ones, but Gwen's gonna be the one to maybe put it back into their favor. Clay off spawn is able to take out Draza. Gwen now through on the flank. He's gonna get hurt though. Abizi able to back up and take him out. Now you kind of restart this push, but it seems like right now they're just sort of like okay to like kind of play TDM a little bit over mid map, just find the kills, but now they're starting to get forward. Abizi in an aggressive position here with Draza. Yeah, you're maybe just hoping Seller can lock one or two in. Maybe uh, give you a three on two on the point. That's kind of what you have right now. Is Abizi's gonna take down two, but then Clay just somehow lines them up. Sell the last player here. Clay, Clay continues as he finds another <laughs> triple. The multi kills are coming in numbers for him, but there is that close spawn for Phase. So the pressure could be right back on for the Ravens. Yeah, you know he loves playing Simba to Beezy. He's got some yeah. history with these guys. He's always going to be a little more fired up, but the multi-kill king is here right now. He has been a beast within this map three. Now can he hold for another minute, extend this into a map four, and then who knows? Maybe get a little fired up off of that momentum, but some lovely movement there from Sim. The slide, the chow, so smooth. Beezy can't quite win the one back alley. He's going to get Clayster out of this right now with how hot he has been. Three through, though, for phase. Now you're onto the point, a chance maybe to win an offensive round here. One did get through behind enemy lines, though. Do they pick this up? They do. Sim picks it up with his fist. Yeah, Sim's able to take him down. So you only have one on this. So Carolina doesn't have to, to freak out quite yet, but maybe now they do. Is Abizi and Sim going to take them down? But again, Clay with another objective kill. But once again, responded. The close spawns are here for phase. As they continue to just... Put pressure on this back alley. Put pressure on the point, and now you only have three lives or many. A dominant round here from Face. Yeah, and this is uh, what they're trying to do: just choke you out, like 15 to three, like that. That was a massive advantage in the lives department. And now you win an offense, you get to a D. You got a chance to start bringing this back if you are Face. See if Clayster has any more heroics in him. Just get these guys to a map four. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, you know, there's give and take with kind of the way they're playing that, but you, you saw just trying to set up that spawn kill. We saw, you know, selling him in the spawn. The, the problem is, is like, if your teammates die around B, it's kind of what we saw in round one. If there's a player that near the defensive spawn, you're going to be spawning so far away. So the timing's just got to be perfect for FaZe. And they're probably working on that, honestly. It's like, they're, they're always trying to improve things. Talk to Crowder a lot about it, and just even in league matches sometimes. Trying out different stuff, trying to perfect it. In that particular round, looked damn good. And the others, they're getting pieced up by Clay. Clay, we'll see when he gets involved. His felony, he started to come alive. The felony was what was he one and nine? Yeah, one, one around there, one and eight, something like that. Something, like yeah. So he started to bring it back too. Maybe ride the momentum of Clay a little bit. Simp snapping. Wins that one with 11 HP. Rival looking strong. 22 and 16 right now for Big Draws. As he's getting picked out of the window by TJ. That middle of the map is just so interesting now without snaking. I can't, I can't stop thinking about how it's just everyone's laying down and taking it. He's just lay down. Literally, he's like, all right, guys, I'll be back. Just put your controller down. Like, <laughs> you, yeah, like, when can you stand up? Like, every, like, five seconds or something? I don't, I, I don't know the official time. <laughs> but, but, yes, you just kind of see. Pick your corner. Pick your spot. We're gonna lay down as the, the pressure's still here 
from Simp and Abizi. But it looks like they're going to get done with A. Gwyn still alive. Not the best game for him, but they are leading on the map. Just trying to find that third round on the board. Okay. Oh, now. We'll start this push, first push forward if we are Ravens. And a one-on-one -on, -one on one side of that's TJ, so he wins the back dumpster side push. And look at that yeah, reaction. Second. Yeah, you should have a nice little transition across here. Yeah, as soon as, soon as Abizi gets taken down again, seems like I got to pick up that, that back alley. And then the push comes from the rest of the Ravens. Nobody on the point quite yet. But I'll tell you what, FaZe is just trying to gain some positioning. Is TJ going to check all his corners? Yeah, he might have a, some damage done to the objective here. He might lose a tick. He's still have a chance to regain if you were a FaZe. So a lot of gameplay likely to go, but you might get rewarded for some big kills in transition. If you're a Ravens, I don't think you quite got. Okay, there you get the progress. Now you got three kills. Now you might get a big time reward. TJ pop it off around the point. Cruise. Four in a row for him. Cruz coming in. Second point done. Trying to pick him out of the point as the missile comes through. Abizi's able to hit one. This, they're still fighting inside, but this one got wild and wacky quickly. Yeah, what Cell on, on the pinch was able to find a kill that slows down the progress, and then Abizi. Not sure exactly where Gwyn was. I think near the point, but he's able to put it in the corner. It gives him another shot at winning this round. That's three through again for Carolina. They're just uh, finding might, them in yeah, waves. Yeah, that yeah, might be it. Yeah, that should be far looking. spawn. You're spawning out so, so far. Carolina come here with a big control win. They'll extend this series. It's a monster map from play. All the boys stepping up, though, in that last round. And wow. I mean, Felony's off up off his feet. TJ standing, too. These guys are fired up. Yeah, I think TJ's parking like a dog right now. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yeah. Thank you for that listening. But Carolina did us, get us to a map number four. You know, we saw this earlier in the day with Ultra. In Vegas, sort of their map threat. He just Scrap said he fell asleep top crane, and they lost that map. Well, I think he, in Scrap fashion. As much as, as much as he's trolling, I'm sure sometimes, like, you know. You're in control of a series. You're, yes, you're in control yeah. of a series. Um, you maybe take your foot off the gas a little bit in an online match, and sometimes you just get caught. I think. I think that was more his testament to Carolina coming alive. Like, Clay was just getting really fired up. Felony started to bring it back. Um, yeah, maybe you caught them slipping at times, but, like, their kills just came in flurries, man. They were, it was in three- or four-man waves pretty much every time I felt like in that last round. It's the Clay effect. We got 4,800 damage. Dude, maybe Fellow just brings out the best in Clay. That's what, I, that's what, that's what I'm, I'm thinking right now. Yeah, yeah. 27 and 18 from Clay. Draws a... Had the most damage on the phase side. But I don't know, just the, the attack for, for phase and really just what Carolina was able to do. Every single time a rival got onto that B point, just couldn't get him out of it. Just props to, to TJ and go in there towards the end. Even like, play in this position. It's like sometimes phase and officer is trying to be too perfect. Yes, too perfect. Like they're trying to set stuff up. Instead of just getting kills and going sometimes, right? Yeah, I think you one team. Like I playing mean, it like it's Invasion and, or something, I, I don't know. Like, well, I think there was always a team, who was it that always was like that? Uh, was Thieves, right? Like the World Championship roster. Yeah. Sometimes they were like that, where they had to find specific kills and that sort of set up their, their process, their system. Yeah. But if those didn't come in, you're like... It just looks sort of like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like your, your watch is like, what are you doing? But when it works, it, it worked damn yeah. well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, it's partially probably working on stuff and just Ravens. We were able to make it messy at times. Get onto the point, just apply way too much pressure. They weren't ready to deal with it or react in time. They got spawning out so, so deep. And, and I mean, once you get spawning out that far too, it's just hard to bring it back. Like, it, it just really is. The face may be a bit flustered. Clay's gotta be a bit fired up. He had a hell of a map, he is. <laughs> we love to see that. Father Time still out there battling. He really is, isn't he? Yeah. No, I, I saw I saw the average age like the Green Bay Packers, bro. And I was like, I'm probably younger than the Carolina Royal Ravens. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. I just think I mean Clay has been literally playing for like 16 years. <laughs> I love him. It's, it's like wild. Seven that really, or eight. It's wild. It's wild. Like him and I were playing COD Four. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, I'm hanging out with you, and he's still gaming. Yeah, it's true. True. Still out there getting that paycheck. We'll take a look at the hard point metrics now for Atlanta Face and the Carolina Royal Ravens. Yeah, six and one for uh, for Atlanta Phase. They're only their second control loss. 
And again, this is uh, coming into today, so now they're seven and one. But uh, Carolina uh, Royal Ravens, obviously they've been, they've been struggling this, but they looked solid in map one up to a certain point, and then Faze ran away with it. I think that average margin though for Faze, like that, that really shows kind of that clutch margin I was talking about. You know, all their hardboard wins have been so close, man. They've been 30, 40 point games. Um, which I guess we'll see if they can continue to do that. Um, I, I know we keep saying part of that's the nature of the game, but can you keep on winning these close ones? Can you win the close ones when it comes to be tournament time when you're on land? It's probably a little bit different. Not that these guys haven't like done it all. Know, it, it even just sort of the hold versus break percentage for them just historically has, it's uh, not the opposite, like 87% hold. I'm sure they'd probably I'd rather the have that. <laughs> like back to like MW or something might be the opposite. Dude, they, they could just never hold on. I, maybe you, you're starting to win a little bit more rotations and maybe you prefer that, but their break, you know, down to 12%. I'm sure, again, it depends on the map. Like, terminal, you're not going to get that many breaks. No, I mean, we're used to watching them with, like, a perfect set setup get smashed. Yeah. Then they go against a perfect setup and walk through it. And I'm like, all right, oh, that's face hard point. But, yeah, no, not this year. Been a little, been a little bit different, but uh, the guys look like they're looking into their futures right now. They're thinking deep on what's to come. I think they need to lock in a little bit. Yeah, yeah lock in for this map four because... You, just a little bit of momentum there. A little something to be get, get, get gassed about. I just like that for Royal Ravens. Like, even if you end up losing the series, like, you know, you're, you're trying something new right now. You, you come into a very hard test right away. Just something to feel positive about. You get, get a control win under your belt. Get the blood flowing. Yeah, I think Clay was saying they were trying to get, like, this fellow move done, I think, for last week. Just to give them more reps. But yeah, yeah. This could, could not happen. But you see, you're taking everything. At least you got some VOD. Everything you're going to be oh, practicing that's, yeah, hard. That's a good point. Like, just getting another map, yes, getting a little something extra here. So you already got to make a tough run in Major 1 if you're going to do anything. But get some reps. And uh, you got to a map 4. Can you push this to a map 5? To sub base we go. Um, a strong one for FaZe, even though we've only seen it once in actual like competition, right? They... What was it against Gorillas, right? It was the map one against Gorillas, I believe, that we casted. Um, just talking to Crowder like, before and after the update, they, they've been a very, very good sub base team. It's one of their favorite hard points. So expect to see them here in battling. Yeah, again, uh, it's going to be a little bit different than what we saw before the break. It's a little bit different than, well, it's a lot different than what you're playing right now in range play. Again, we're still on the, the old patch. We, we will be until after the major. It's Carolina, some nice early time, but phase. Controlling the, the left side of the map as you rotate over to P2. And Sully, a little snap back, able to win that fight. But yeah, P2 will get ready to pop. You'll take a minor little edge here as the shot is clean from Fellow. Now P2, up, up, and away we go. Nobody in firm control, but yeah, you still have both teams here fighting. Let's see what Clay is able to do. Tough fight through the steps. But he does take that one before he drops. Now Gwen from up top, able to follow it up with TJ. That's a nice little hold here from the front for Carolina. Before the update, like this is kind of the, the preferred setup, forcing them through that back ramp. To have to break on through it is not easy with those top barrels, all the different angles. That is going to be three dead, four in a row for TJ. A hot start for him. And now you're going to see the spawns flip. Abiz, the last player alive on this side of the map, does find a kill. And now you just kind of see the blue arrows are looking all over the place. They know the spawn outs are possible. But with Abizi's three kills, you have a three on two. And there we go. Abizi and Simp with the break. Yeah, 10 seconds. All right, they take the 10 seconds. But look at where you just popped. I believe Abizi just spawned top left. So you get second control. You get the spawn deep for a third, and now you're going to try to rotate across. But so far, so good for Royal Ravens. You did a good job in the opening skirmish there on the point. TJ was popping off. Fellow, another slow start, but he'll start to come alive here. Just getting worked into this roster. If FaZe will get right into your next point, uh, Sally may have ripped out of it right away. Yeah, now Drys is going to spawn all the way out, but I don't know if Carolina recognizes that quite yet. But a BZ, he held on to that first, uh, you know, first gun fight. Now able to win the next two is... Does he take it down? And now Carolina, they actually get the closer spawns. They're going to get the break. So you'll take this, what, 28 seconds if you can hold the rest of it. Yeah, absolutely. Four in a row for TJ again, by the way. He's 12 and three. Quadruple positive for TJ. He's gaming right now. Also picking up the time, leading the way for the squad. TJ's doing it all. Why not? Why not? Down and back. 
know he can have these pop off moments, but Draza kind of lurking all the way back docks. A nice trade. But with his position, what does allow ABZ and the Cellium to spawn up, but inside of P3 is Gwyn, so can you get some trophies down? Deal with these nades, and they have just that. All stack up inside as they're looking to build a significant lead here. I mean, with the results we've had lately with the Optic loss, with the New York loss, why not? Why not another miracle? Can Carolina push this to a map five? Maybe come in and shock us. But still soaking it up inside the point will be Gwen. Fellows come back. He was, what, one and four? It was three in a row for him before he dropped. Four in a row now for Gwen, the youngster, making noise. And the lead continues to grow and grow. Not quite to 100 points, but it's getting there, Joe. I mean, I, I don't, they have hardly gotten off this hill. Finally, FaZe will deal with them. I know the trophies were down. I think right at the start of the hill, Fellow gets a big kill on his, uh, to Abizi. So there was no middle pinch for FaZe. And they just were flood him over and over again. That was a great hold for, for Carolina. At P4. Now an 80-point lead and three dead is, I mean, they are just popping off. They are absolutely popping off. They came to play today. Simp able to get two, five in a row for him, maybe slowing them down for a moment, but they're still into the point is Carolina. You have been able to find no objective time if you're Atlanta phase. It's the Carolina pop off right now. Is Clayster, I think, just getting going. In that map three, the team just started to come alive and well, they brought it right here into this map four. Nobody really in the hill these last, what, 15 or so seconds, just fighting over the middle of the map. No trophies down, so the nades, the stuns, everything will hit. But Draza, he's going to put one down himself and wins the second gunfight. The problem for them, though, it's only going to be 10 seconds, but they're trying to flip spawns for P1 and P2, but does not happen. TJ wins another one up to 16 and 7, so him and Clay, 32 kills through our first rotation of hills. See if FaZe can start to make a rally here. Simp once again with a multi-kill. I mean, Simp's doing it all for them right now. Okay, maybe not the objective, but he's 18 and nine. Nobody else really slaying. Everyone's, he's double positive. The rest of the team is basically like double negative. Like it has been the Simp show on the FaZe front. The rest of the team may have fell asleep, but he has not. That's like back-to-back -back killing sprees off these lives. He's been nuts. And now he's starting to rally the boys. And I think a couple of players spawn out and maybe now ready for it. That was Draza top three, and that's going to be four dead. So I think it was uh, Clay and, and Quint who actually spawn up near P2. You kind of saw with Sim's position, he was roaming top snow. Nobody really turned for them. They thought they had everything locked down instead. Carolina, they're going to get that time. So just beautiful stuff for them. Atlanta phase down 80 points. Let's go to a list in with phase, see if they can bring it back. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Nice, good up. Nice, take the comment. Nice, good up. 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 Nice, good well, Draws kind of said this is the break for the game. If they get a break here and get time, he feels like they can start to rally back. If not, we'll see. It's a 100-point advantage, basically, for Royal Ravens. You do get the breakthrough. So he kind of says, calm down, we're good. Let's get the break for the win. They did that, and I'll see if they can actually follow through. I, mean, I don't know if it'll be for the win, but it keeps them in the game, absolutely. Maybe it gives them a chance. Clayster here is still there, does get traded out. That's what he said, right? No, I mean, yeah, for the, yeah, for the, pretty much, if we don't break this, maybe we, we yeah, lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that would have put Carolina around, what, 230 or so. So, yeah, it was a much needed break, but here at P4 last time through, it was just all Ravens. This time, it's going to be phased through the middle of the map. But the trades going the Ravens' way, and, well, now you have a fellow on the hill. Shot to get those trophies down. About to jump over that 200 point mark. 50 points away from the win is Ravens, and that takes us to a map five. Getting closer and closer as the guys have been battling. Clay and TJ have been putting up some numbers as all the boys have been battling. BC, though, through six in a row for him before he drops. It's actually a teammate that takes him out, but Sim still doing his thing. 26 and 17. Back into the point, and listen, I, I, I've said it a couple times that their clutch factor has been nuts so far for FaZe and Hardpoint. When it's been a 30 or 40 point game, they have won every single time. You saw their mark, there were six and one. Their march of victory was 16 points. Like they have been nail biters. Last time we casted them on this against Gorillas. What was it? It was a comeback and a very narrow win. So they're no strangers to this, Joe. They're not. Yeah, and I, I think you kind of heard just sort of in the listening, a little bit more intensity. Like, hey, we're actually, we are in a, not a great spot here. We have to start picking it up. Carolina is, is sort of frying us. Yeah, they have them. And, and now they are up to 220, but you need to win some key gunfights, maybe to lead to breaks. This Selium's at, towards the P2 window, but Clay with a massive one-on-one -on -one win. And it may not lead to, to hill time, but it won't allow FaZe to get to the hill. It's exactly. easy to get off for the crew. Slows him down. It slows him down 100%. But you'll hop right back into the point. You're 20 points away from yeah. victory now if you were Royal Ravens. Not going to connect with anything. Hits the roof. Tries to hopefully get a player. Not going to happen. Clay gets right back to the point. And now you break in. Is it going to be too little too late for FaZe? Pistol a popping again for Felony. Unfortunately, a teammate comes through. I take that trade all day, right? I mean, we just talked about it earlier today. That cruise missile, that animation, it, it takes a while. Yeah. Uh, so it turned it into about another 10 seconds. They continue to trade for this scrap time. And I think the lead may have just been a little bit too large from earlier in the game. Is Clay almost up to 30? TJ did not slow down either, as you said. Looks like a BZ did start to pick it up. But when was the last time we said selling was negative nine? I, I couldn't tell you. Well, yeah, right? <laughs> looks like we are headed to a... No, I'm... Yeah, now we got there. Ah, the music cues you. Uh, <laughs> I even tricked him. They tricked us all. But uh, to a map five we go. That's one way to get rid of the clutch stat for Baze. Don't let it be like that. Don't let it be a 30, 40 point game. Just come out and beat him by 80. You up as much as 100. The passion was flowing. I think, yeah, you kind of heard... I mean, Draza didn't sound like panic, but you could hear him sort of be like, oh, come on, we are, we can do it now. We like, need to. You need to turn that on a minute, minute and a half before that, really, if you were going to bring it back. Start but, yeah, the map. Selium negative is, uh, that's a rare one. Um, he has the lowest damage really across the board as well, is you didn't see a lot there out of Cell. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's just a rare one from Cell, yeah. Not say it's all on him, but you don't, just, you don't see it very often where he's like low in damage kills. And I, I, would, I mean, listen, now FaZe has five map losses on the year, and two of them are to Carolina. How about it? How about it? So we're headed to a game five? Why not? This has been a crazy couple of CDL days. And Clay, uh, what, 5,400 damage he puts up? Like, you, you listen, he has always been. Maybe, maybe, well, I guess he hasn't always been a streaky player, like, you know, during AW. He's just a god the entire time. But he, just due to his, like, energy and passion, he's kind of been a streaky player. Like, when he gets going, he can just start to take over. When you saw him start to roar in that map three, I'm always, when I see Clay start roaring, I'm like, maybe a chance for him to start making some plays, and he'll do just that. We are tied up 2-2, going to a map five. Did not see this one coming. Carolina Royal Ravens after the team change of Mr. Felony. The teamwork has been on point. Trying to catch phase now. We'll see if they can do it. Can they win one more map to complete a weekend of crazy results? It's been a wild one. We hope you enjoyed the show. One more map to end the night. Don't go anywhere.
miss out on all the action at the first Call of Duty League Major, hosted by the Boston Breach, this January 25th to the 28th at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway in Boston. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to callofdutyleague.com for more info. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. We are back. The Royal Ravens making a run. Cacaw! Yeah. That's That's it. That's exactly... You should be their mascot. Goddamn right it should be, Joe. Why not? Why not? We're going to look at our map, too. Top performers. Clay versus Draza. Clay, after map, too, he has just been destroying. Did it in control. Did it in that game number four. <sighs> this guy's like LeBron, 38 out there, looking 20. Very similar. Not 38 yet, though. <laughs> He's still got a few more years for that one. That would be quite impressive. But already, I think this is impressive. Props to Carolina getting phase to a game five. And now when you're here, let's hit it. Let's get crazy. Yeah, absolutely. It's been it's been a crazy weekend of results. Give me more madness. Put phase in the dirt. You saw Draza talking shit. Said, honestly, I'm not worried about doing anything. Come in here and smash him. I know Draza had an accent. I didn't either. But I got fired up, Joe, and a crazy one. Okay. Let's get it, Carolina. Look, look at you want to lose a guy with that haircut? Look at him. MacArthur. Yeah, that's a cool name. You're just jealous. Your name's Clint. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Bro. Map five. Here we go. Come on, Carolina. I'm I mean, for this you. is a read and a half. They just go two right down the middle of the map. Uh, they're going to spot Sim. Sim's like, uh, they're in our spawn. Draza does find one. Is Draza ready for the second one? No. They hit you with the old two men right down the middle of the map, but didn't work out that well. There was a chance it could have been great. That's what happens when you add Mr. Midmap and Felony. Oh, he wasn't there. That used to be his name. Yeah, no, he wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's changed. That's right. He's That's Mr. Right. I'm all the way in the back of the map now. <laughs> There's 40 seconds left in this round. Fellow and Quinn just playing very passively. I knew that the initial push was through tunnels, so maybe they're thinking we're going to hit the top side of the map, but Sims just trying to find anything. 30 seconds left. It is time to go. Felony and Gwen looking to clutch up. The fan base in the entire state. That is on their shoulders. Time. That is unreal timing. Doesn't go well. Fellow. Doesn't just he, he just watches that cross, is checking for a bomb planner, maybe just for some info, gives it up. MacArthur moves past that door. Oh, uh, MacArthur, MacArthur's moving. Celium wasn't moving last map. MacArthur's back this map. Okay. Heard it here first. Yeah, just saddled up. Just whoop. It's going. Were you riding a horse? Yeah, yes, I was. No one can see that, though, but you, Joe. It is one kill apiece for the entire squad. I mean, I'd love to play from Carolina. It just didn't work out. I mean, take some risks. Take some risks. I like yeah, it. I yeah. mean, there was a chance. Depending on some of those times, they're throwing off some trick shots here. Clay's going to find a first blood. Of course he did. It's Clayster. 4v3. Let's see what they can do behind the numbers. Try to bring this back into a 1 1. Gwen checking his corners. Hey, this wall bangs. Check your corners, open your doors. And Clay is playing it slow. Seeing if he can follow that up. 50 seconds now left to go. A BZ. He's changing the light bulb. Yep. He's a maintenance man. You ever see him on TaskRabbit? One time I was trying to get somebody to put a mounted television, saw a BZ there. I was mind blown. I was like, is he tall enough to mount a TV? They, they make ladders, so yeah. Good point, Joe. Three v two now for Ravens. TJ with the big kill. Going to be selling him now by himself. MacArthur, here we go. Bombs going to get planted. We'll see if Sal can clutch up in the one versus three. When I mean, good luck with this. I mean, you saw the timings go his way last round. 
This would be something special. Yeah, not going to happen. I mean, just a three-man setup. Well, last year, a disaster. Last year, he had some insane clutches in search, but yeah, a little, little bit. It's also here. unkillable. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. But why did Cell just blindly wallbang three people in a row? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this time through, not going to happen. So a nice bounce back round on offense there. Starts with that first blood from Clay. All right, they bring it back even. These guys have been battling. Can Clay be Mr. Map 5, so far leading all players. And here we go, it should be a very quick round up top, Platt Clay. Almost. Just putting some shots in, Gwyn with two. Just putting that damage in. Yeah, I mean, chalk up an assist or uh, a one, maybe two. I mean, he got some tags into both, but Gwyn's the one that'll walk away with the kills. Yeah, you would just love to have man advantage as we're now into a two on two. Draza with the pick. Yeah, and then you got frustrated with Gwen a little bit map two, I think, once or twice. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, now he went for the other that time. He's just like, yeah, yeah, just trying to see maybe they jump out of top fire. You know, you're spotting for info and you're dead. It's called duty. You die very fast. Yeah. Draza with the with the plays. He pulls out the rival for this round and he's found two kills. So that four on two is quickly into a two on two. TJ, the Iceman. Or is it Felony that's able to find the opener? Felony gets the kill into a BZ. Now, Draza in the one versus two. And with how these players are split, a couple of timings should go his way, and, and that's it. He's going to check the bomb, not see anything. And TJ's cleared a lot of this, right? So they have no idea where he is right now. As the time is continued to go his way, TJ continues to just sort around. Here we go. If he finds this kill, it's it. And TJ, he just runs by him. God, those timings were awful for him. Yeah, I figure once but he got... great for draws. Once he got the check at 15, I thought it was done. I mean, I, he just has to get a simple kill at that point. Yeah, but let's, I thought TJ would bad turn around. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. TJ would turn yeah, around. Yeah, does yeah. it? He's, he's checking the double doors. And draws uh, just the MVP in that round. I mean, they're down to a four on two. He's able to bring it back with his kills and then clutches with the bomb planted. Yeah, that's one you're hoping to TJ. You know how good he's been in search at times. Like in the past, I mean, he's been one of the best players in the game in the mode, just there. Just an awkward one is they can't find Draza. TJ, he's, he's on three in a row because he never actually ends up dying in the round. Dodging bullets. Well, there's some info for you. Even if you just get a hit marker or two, it's all you really need is Ross is going to be like, yo, this is a mid push. They're going to hop on up and then immediately allow Selim, Abizi, wow. and Simp to find the kill. So that early info pays off from Draws. Is now phased with a two round lead. Yeah, that one was done quick. So break that down. It was over so fast. I mean, it's just a pre fire right through the middle of the door, and you're just hoping for a hit marker or two. And what that tells the rest of Atlanta phase is. This is going to be a quick hit, so watch that top platform. Be ready for them to hop on up, and those players in that spot were. Yeah, I couldn't actually tell like, how many people he hit. I mean, it's you, one. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You can see it spraying through. You assume he tagged somebody. But, yeah, no. The info is there. You can see how quick they react. There was a smoke that goes down almost instantly after that because they're <laughs> probably panicking a bit, but. <coughs> Excuse me. 3-1 now face. Oh, I think he just caught a stun off his forehead. Oh, yeah, he got hit in the face. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looked like. <laughs> he did get hit in the face, but now nah, he's just hanging out up top. Fellow's going to He also works on there. windows um, when, when asked to. I can't stop picturing him mounting a TV. I can't do it. Whew. Oh, as a maintenance man, maybe this is just part of it. Yeah, focus, Clint. Well, I'm being planted into a four-on-four, four, so Carolina just give kind of everything up, but... You're obviously, now if you're phased, you're kind of just stuck into this one position. Maybe some nades, some stuns. Going to give Carolina an advantage as TJ goes on that front Whoa. pinch. Abizi's going to spot him. And now Abizi knows, here comes the hit. But Clay with the first blood. Yeah, that was payback. He took the stun to the face earlier. He had to dish it out. Um, won't get the kill. Selium and Simp will, though. Clay just keeps chucking nades at people. But the four on four quickly turned into one on two. Phase now up 4-1. Starting to roll. Does this look like a tight one phase now in control? 
Come on. Come on, Carolina. Give me something. Well, Bring are, it back. Those are the, a tough round. They are. They are. They when, are. When, you're trying, when you're a new roster, new players on the team, in sort of a, a very unique situation where you're allowing the bomb to be down and then you're into your 4-4. Four four. Normally, you go through that like 30, 40 times. Same situation. You know exactly what you want to do, yeah. how you want to clear it. That might have been their first time yeah. doing it. Like, honestly. It probably absolutely was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right back to it, and this time Sims is going to hit the middle of the map, catches Clay. And goes for that pre fire, and now they're just starting to read him, right? This Carolina team just so new. They're not going to have many strides. They go right back to that top A hit, and it's just not worked out. Yeah, I mean, you got more reps under you, catch phase like this, get him to map five. Maybe you're able to put this one away. Right now, it's, it's looking ugly because you're at risk of going down 5 1. Faze obviously always a tough team to put away. They've usually got a wide map pool. They can they can fight the full distance. They're strong in all modes, but man, I was pulling for Ravens here with how strong you how strong you looked. The opportunities you gave yourself and how well Clay has been playing, but you were in a tough spot now. Felony last up within this round. I like that play from Gwen too. Just kind of made the slide through. Make him think you're planning. It's simp. Open the door. Close the door. Pistol. I, I mean, I don't know what the heck he just did. Is he shows fellow some extra love. Yeah, yeah. Demonic. You think there's anybody more open, excited? Open. Close. Open. Pistol. Dodge a punch. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sip is psych. Yeah. He was making sure he was dead. You think anyone's more pumped for this match than like Zenny? But, dude, TJ, like, you know, he's, he was pumped for this. He wrong. probably ate, like, three chicken parms last night getting fired up for this. They pushed into a map five. Zenny was probably soiling himself. Might have been. He's done that before. I can't confirm that. Let's see if Vase can put him away here. Need one more round. They've been getting wild first bloods. TJ at first. Simpto snapping back. Able to hit the shot. Seven and four and four in a row for him. Two versus two now. See if Carolina can push this one or it's going to end here. Clayster's still alive, and when Clay's alive, there's a miracle waiting to happen. Maybe not. Might have just shut the miracle down. Is it BC's going to take him out? Now a one on two for Gwyn. Put some shots in, but bomb being planted. So he's going to have to deal with a BZ and Simp. Can the young man clutch? The answer is no. Carolina, they make it interesting. They went back to back maps, push it to a map five. They push phase the distance, but in a week of upsets, there's not going to be one more. Abizi's giggling. I don't know what he's laughing about, but maybe maybe Simp play earlier with the knock knock who's there shooting your body. Hi. I'll tell you what, I mean, you know, obviously a bit of a scary situation. Nice bounce back in that map five, but I'm looking forward to, to phase versus optic tomorrow because I think both oh, of yeah. these teams. Not the best couple of showings these last few days. For sure. The, you know, you know, you know, heavyweight bout tomorrow. Yeah, I think everyone's been looking forward to this one. It's going to be uh, fantastic to see how they go up against each other. Uh, statistically here, though, um, Simp got himself a map, almost 1,600 damage, 8 and 4. Uh, but. This